Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and this week I'm going over kind of a bigger plugin that I came across a while ago. It uh, somebody did suggest it, but uh, I apologize. I didn't grab that. Um, I started cataloging all those requests so if you made that request feel free post below and give a shout out also i want to say i wanted to try this plugin out because it looks like a lot of fun but i couldn't find a server at least i tried this one i didn't really look that much um had kind of a busy week but anyway if you have one as well that you play on please give a shout out below i might actually do like a weekend server thing at some point um you know maybe for a 1000 subscriber special something like that let me know if you have any um preference on that might just do that for the fun of it. So anyway, let's get into it. This one is very simple, which is fantastic. It uh, pretty much is ready to go right out of the box. So the admins don't really need to do much. In fact, you don't even need a permissions node to run this uh, just because of how the author ran this. Like there is quite the team that uh, takes care of this this plugin. So it's always being updated. Um, as you can see, it is on the latest one, which it's probably going to be outdated within a couple weeks here when they come out 1.7. But in anyway, shout out to uh, GMC Freren for uh, managing it and um, former author Nasser15. Probably is not around on it anymore. But anyway, um, also, yeah, so if you want to see how to play it, I'm going to go over that in a bit here. So please, if you want to just skip ahead, click on the annotation that's coming up right now, and you'll skip ahead to the player um guide that i'm going to go over real quick but anyway for the admins tune in um what we're going to go over first of all obviously you don't even need a permissions node i already said that but um they do outlie or outlie they do lay out that uh, permissions x has problems if you want to negate permissions just with how they have it all set up with the massive amounts of default permissions the quickest way to remove permissions from somebody is to negate it um, so permissions X is not recommended for that. Um, along those lines, I'll probably go over group manager. I probably should do that. Um, see if I can get that done next week. But just because a lot of you use it and it would help me help you guys. So the config files are pretty, like I said, they're all set up and ready to go unless you want to tweak stuff. You can modify the scoreboards, how long they display for. Um, if you want them permanently displayed, you can hit negative one, um, but it, the screen kind of gets crowded. The MCMMO does say that it works with Spoutcraft um, down here for a uh, different kinds of HUD style views and level up achievement notifications. I couldn't get it to work because it looks like Spoutcraft is very outdated. Um, it's not even on 1.62, it's like 1.52, and I tried to load up anyway. I couldn't seem to figure out to get it working, and anyway, it's way out of date. Whoops, wrong. Okay, here we go. You can also change what, how the mo uh, how the mob health bar is displayed. You can have it hearts bar disabled, display time, how long it displays for. Um, some other things. You got uh, hardcore mode, so that there's a um, penalty when you die. You have tool mods, um, I, this Chimera wing, I'll go over how you give people permission to, for that. By default, everybody does, but you can remove the permissions. The other one that I wanted to go over is the party system is kind of a big deal. You can modify the change. You can modify the bonus uh, increase that they get for having party members. You can auto-kick party members after 12 hours, or you can never click at negative one. Um yeah that's pretty much it there's also a bunch of activities in here for all the skill trees that you can modify um you can change to only activate when sneaking uh here's all the skills there's a ton of them like i said by default it's pretty much straightforward but you can then modify all of these double drops experience i'll go over the double drops and experience and all that stuff uh you can turn off pvp rewards yeah so that's pretty much it. I don't really need to go through and talk about all of this stuff. Um, so we'll just go over. So here's the advanced uh, config file. You can then change a lot of stuff. Pretty much everything with every skill. With ranks and tiers and 
I'm not going to really go into it because there's a lot of annotations in here for explaining how it works. If you don't see these like this, I highly recommend that you get Notepad++ for viewing these, these files. It makes it a lot easier than using Notepad. You can also set uh, what is used to repair by default. I think it's pretty much standard uh, Minecraft defaults. Um, so it explains how to set it all up up here in the top. So I'm not really going to go over it. It's just a lot of reading for you admins out there. Here's how you can set the treasures for different kinds of activities that people are doing. There's a... I'll get into it when we're going over how to play. So that's pretty much it. The permission nodes is something different. Um... The, by default, they're all listed, and the ones that it uses is mcmmo.defaults. Everybody gets that one. If you don't like how that is laid out, check the permissions wiki page. I'll link it in the description. It lays out all of the permission nodes, and if you think that maybe they have too much, you can negate some of those. You can also give like moderators admin over MCMMO, and that is MCMMO.defaults op. So they don't have to be operator of the server, but they have operator powers over the plugin itself. You can also then turn off like the mob health display. If you only want VIPs to see that or something like that, MCMMO.mob health display. You can also negate so only VIPs use mcmmo.item.chimera wing that's another one there's also the big thing with vips is they lay out the vip perks um, or vip stuff so that's what i call it you know donate or stuff whatever i always call them vips just because and that's mcmmo.perks dot like activation time cooldowns lucky xp if you use lucky it gives a 33 percent boost for getting treasures so they get more lucky you can then do mcmmo.perks dot double triple quadruple 50 percent boost there's a lot of them i'll link it in the description um that's what a lot of free to play games do now if you get premium membership you get a boost in how much you get xp so that's pretty much it for the server admin side let's hop into the game and i'll go over a few things for gameplay so this is where the games gamers are going to be tuning back here we are in our world um it's just the default world nothing big the the configuration download for this is <clears throat> going to be in the description but i haven't done anything to it it's pretty much all default so you can go ahead and get that going on your own but anyway um the few things that we want to go over here is just some of the commands that are available for players this is kind of the player section guide you have a few of them as mc top and it'll list the power level there's nobody on the server right now it's just me nobody else has ever connected so it'll list the top 10 players and you can do mc top and then you can actually specify a skill name i think um I don't remember all the skill names off the top of my head. There's a lot of them. I'll go over some of those. Um, but anyway, here we go. So MC rank is going to give you a rank in all of the different skill names. Okay, so we could do MC top mining. And I'm zero because I haven't done anything. But anyway, and then the other one is MC stats. And that's going to, oh yeah, I think that's the same. MC rank. So if you do MC rank without... I don't know. I'm not sure what the difference is off the top of my head. But anyway, the skills, which is going to be the MC stats, the skills is done just by, you rank that up by doing um, actions in the game. And you're not going to really see anything until you've ranked up. But um, as a lower at a lower rank, there's passive bonuses. You have a 0.1% of dropping double items of whatever you're doing and then as you rank up in that that passive bonus goes up there's also um abilities that you get with each uh with each rank um those are usually all done by right clicking with um, the tool that you're using what oh that was weird it so anyway um so let's see if we can get this i don't know i haven't really played with it a whole lot i would like to hop on a server and check it out but it's done by like right clicking you are ready you ready your axe 
and then it tree feller wore off oh does that you were too tired so that's the uh, okay now i would there we go that's a little bit of that and um so the special abilities is usually right click to activate and i'm too tired so it looks like it's about two and a half minutes no four probably like five minutes and with whatever tools sword diamond hoe um shovel all of it you right click and then it it readies and then that's the bonuses that you get so a couple of notes on ranking up your stuff the spawner mobs don't help you rank up any kind of fighting those are uh they don't apply um and then there's also this party system so you can do party and then that and it'll list all of the options available for you and you can do party create fancy pants is the name of so I created my party, and then you can invite people to it. You can transfer the leader or ownership by doing player leader and then the player name. You can disband it. The one thing I did want to note, oh, yeah, is you can password protect. You can also put it on lock or unlock. So party, party lock. So now, oh, it's already locked. So then um, if you want to make it open, People can just join by party unlock. The one thing I did want to note is the this XP and item share. Um, for both of these, you have well for e XP share you have um, equal or none. And what that does is to a 75 block block radius, it'll distribute XP equally among all of you, and that will then. But then also you get a bo boost on the overall XP that you gain, which is kind of cool. So. You can gain more XP as a party in the same area than if you were just by yourself, but you won't get, you know, personally you won't get as much XP, but it'll be shared among all of you, which is kind of nice. It's a little bit of a bonus. You can modify that stuff in the server admin for you admins out there. Um, by default, it's 75 block radius. You can up that or lower that or whatever you want to do. You can also set the item share to be random, equal, or none. So what it'll do is if you're in the same area as other people and you collect items, it will equally distribute those items between everybody if you select equal uh, based upon value. So if somebody gets a diamond, the next person's in line to get another diamond, even if they weren't the ones who mined it. You can put that to random and then it'll randomly distribute that item among the people you know, in a party that are in the area, or you set it to none. So that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, it's it's a pretty cool plugin. I might just do it for for the fun of it some weekend or something like that. But um, I might look for a plug or a server to play to try this out a little bit more on. But anyway, so this is Cosmic Friends. Um, if you found this helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have a question, feel free to post it below. There's also um, a chat room for MCMMO that the authors are in or authors and supporters are in that's probably the best place to ask questions I'll do my best um, just to base upon what I see and what I research but um, I think that's it feel free to download a server build in the description but it is all the defaults so that's Ka this is cause this is cause yes hello and goodbye enjoy the game oh oh like a grenade launcher right <laughs> It is not is a close quarter it? weapon. It is not a melee weapon. It is. Check it out. I totally meleeed those.